All right, we are going to replace the oil pan on the automatic transmission where the old oil pan here was rusted through and oil is leaking out. So first we have to remove six T30 screws and what I'm going to do here, I loosen them up one by one, just loosen them so that they are not screwed on tight anymore. One by one, I go all the way around and do that. And then I'm going to fast forward through this process where we remove them all one by one, tilt the pan a little so that the oil can drip out and then we go from there. Very good. It's good house. Um, before I forget, the last one here, the M10, with an M10 Works. nut, you have to remove that screw to, to release the last screw. And we tilt it here at an angle so that it all can run out. Yeah, okay, so the last step then is to remove all the screws all the way. Yeah, uh, then tilt this thing very caref carefully so that you don't spill too much. Second hand, or third hand in this case, may be helpful, but it's all doable. It's not a big of a deal. It's not so heavy anymore because a lot of stuff ran out already. There we go. And then we take it aside. Jetzt kommt das noch hier aus dem Getriebe raushalten. Ja, das ist normal. From the old oil pan, we remove the magnet. It's just stuck to the to the metal pan. It's like a steel pan, and we um, remove all the metal shavings on it. Oh, well, there is quite a bit in here. So we clean that up a lot, and then we place it at the same spot on the new pan. Willst du noch mal genau zeigen? Geh mal nee. So that's relatively clean and then you just put it on the same spot there. Uh, we also need from the old oil pan the, the holders and we remove the oil filter and put a new oil filter in. This just pushed in there easy. Only one spot where it fits. It fits only in one spot. So then we put the pan on there, tighten the six screws one by one. In a circular pattern, and then at the end we put the M10 screw back in here to add this attachment, what is on there on the side there. And then we are done with the pan down here. We can add the cover to it. I didn't show in the beginning how to remove it. It has only four screws. We need an M13. And the short ones are in the back. There's two short ones. Go in here, one there. Here. One there, and as I show here, M13 is the tool you need. Uh, There's two more up here. front here. The longer ones are up front, also M13. There it goes, and then tighten them, and then we can start working on the new oil. The new oil I measure with a measuring cup. Okay, and all the oil I got out into a second pan and then I measure 3.8 liters or 4 quarts. And uh, half a turn and pull to get the cover out for the fill thing here and then you just have to be patient and slowly fill in the same amount you got out of the transmission.
and all this assuming that you didn't lose any oil so that you didn't have a leak already. If you had a leak already, you need to go to the dealer and measure the the level there at the dealer. So we're closing the dipstick hole here one and we're done with that. We let it's the engine run and shift through all gears. And once the engine is running, we check for oil leaks if anything is leaking on the side or not. And it isn't in this case. So then I take it for a test drive and look again after the test drive if there's any leaks. They're not. And then we wait another three years to replace this one again. Because why would this last longer? 